What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Profile Builder tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk about a new mode that lets you see the profiles and the paths that they've been extruded along after they've been created. Um, if you want to check out Profile Builder you can download the free trial at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash Profile Builder. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the things that can get really frustrating in SketchUp is some of the time it feels like it's kind of hard to edit things after they've been created. So let's say for example that I was to come in here and I was to create some kind of shape, maybe a pipe or something like that, and then I was to extrude it out kind of straight like this. Well one of the things that you run into is sometimes you want something to run straight through the middle of this. So you want to split it or things need to intersect. And the problem is this has already been created as geometry. So it can get really hard to get back in there once you've done that. Um, and there's some kind of workarounds. You know you could come in here and you can figure out the midpoint. And then you could draw through here to create the midpoint and then you could hide everything except the line. And then you could come in here and work on this, but that gets really cumbersome really fast. You get some kind of weird face issues in here when you do that. Um, but you could definitely do that in order to create those kind of uh, intersecting shapes. But again, you can just see how that gets really complicated. So in this case though, one of the cool functions that got included in Profile Builder 3, which is a new function, is the ability to turn on Path Mode. And so what Path Mode does is it basically shows you the 2D cut of your shape and the path that it was created on without showing your entire object's geometry. And so to do that, it's very simple. You just click on the object and then you want to go up into your profile builder menu you want to find the option for path mode and when you do that what that's going to do is that's actually going to turn off the extrusion that was created with this object and you can see how it's basically showing you a 2D profile that's getting extruded along with the path and so now it's really easy to come in and draw new shapes through this line. So let's say for example that I wanted to run a pipe through the middle of this steel beam. Well now I can come in here and I can select these, uh, I can select this path and I can just use the profile dialog in order to go ahead and add that in here. And that'll work with basically any kind of shape. So let's say I wanted to do this with more of a square type shape, that'll work as well. And then now I can come back in here and I can just select my extrusion or I can select my profile builder object and I can just come up here and I can turn on, I can click the button for revert path mode. And so what that does is that lets me see what this shape now looks like with that, with that um, profile extruded along it. And so you can see how this will work with all of these. So now if I was to come in here and I was to select all of these different objects and turn path mode on, you can see how now I can see all of these different lines that all of this stuff's getting extruded along. And this means you can come in here and you can find things like intersections. So let's say I need a pipe to come in here um, to this intersection at that same point. But from down below, now I can find that intersection really easily. And then I can add an extrusion along that path. And so now I could turn all of these back on and you can see how I have this pipe that's intersecting straight in the middle. So creating things like this is really easy. I could also come in here and let's say I wanted something to kind of like run back and forth through this. All I would have to do is I would just turn on path mode. And then I could just draw the path that I wanted this to follow and I could have something that runs back and forth through and then I could just extrude a shape along that. So let's go back to our pipe profile. We'll just select the option for build along path. And then I can revert path mode. You can see I was able to run this through the center of this wood beam really easily. And so another example would be if you, if you uh, had drawn a bunch of paths in here and then uh, used the profile dialog to extrude a two by four profile along here, I could select all of these different 2x4s and I could activate path mode and you can see how that will also take this so that you can see the individual paths. Well I could come in here and I could draw in some blocking and it could be some kind of fairly complex blocking. I know generally you wouldn't do something quite like this but you can see how again this is really easy 
to draw profiles that run along the center of these different objects. Then I could come back in here and I could revert path mode. You can see I have my wall in here. So I'm seeing some interesting applications for this tool, but I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about this functionality? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.